So, uh, we're working on this edit here. I did get the ducker set up, so now if I roll this, it should, um, duck back that chat music. Although I wish it kind of faded it a little bit more. I'm trying to add some attack to it to get it to give it a little bit of fade time. It, it should have, like, some release time to it, at least, to fade the music back in. Let's see if adding a little bit more attack time brings the fade time in for this. Eh, it still feels like it's kind of hard cutting it and not attacking as long as I would like for it to. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more attack time. I think part of the reason it's not doing it is just because it's like cutting so deep into it. Um, I'm gonna rename audio to... Oh boy, Premiere, I really don't like you. Um, we'll call this main clip. I learned something that I can't uh, drag and drop or move tracks around in Premiere, which Adobe, that's an incredibly stupid move. I don't know what the hell you're thinking there, but that's like a 101 kind of thing that people need. So you should work on bringing that back or giving us that. So there's my counter beep. And that takes me right into the video, which we may start on a wide shot, but we may not. We may start with just about anything. I'm gonna respond to this real fast, because if I don't, I'm gonna forget. Bookered, booked. Okay, I know this is like super professional streamer, but like real life's getting in my way here. Okay, so we've got the wide shot selects. I need to pull up my uh, Google Sheets here for uh, time code. So let's get our time code up here. So I already did the wide shot. I did the guitar mid shot. I need to do the guitar tight shot. And then I should really like go ahead and rearrange all of this stuff now since Premiere sucks. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought I was grabbing the timeline there. So I think what I want to do here is I'm just going to expand this out so I can see the tracks. This is where like it'd be really nice if I had, um, if I was using two monitors, but there's just no way to stream that, unfortunately. Okay, actually let's decrease that a little bit because I'm going to temporarily move everything in the wide shot and there should be a why did that not grab that like if i hold shift that should make it so i can't move it left or right in the timeline so let's move these up above and then move this down below we'll rename this right here this is wide shot this is now guitar mid shot one did it not rename it Oh, it's because this is already named Wide Shot. It won't let me name things the same thing twice. That's interesting. And I guess I get why, but it's kind of annoying. Okay, rename Guitar Mid Shot 2. Okay, so now we're going to move to the... Do I want to do stack up more mid shots? Maybe I do want to do the vocal mid shots. So I'm going to fill this as green because it's done, and I'm going to fill you as green because you're done. Okay, so yeah, let's do the vocal mid shot. So we'll do... Did I... I wait, so guitar mid shot... Oh, that's part two. Okay, I see what I'm doing wrong here. So yeah, I want to do vocal mid shots now. So let's go sequences, editing, part one. So I want the vocal mid shots. So let's do our selects. What's up, Dini? How you doing? Are you uh are you up at the swoosh today again? I'm gonna mute this for now so it doesn't like keep doing sound as I drag. Let's follow this time code. Oh, the blink tickets hurt. I saw a funny meme today because like my chem chemical romance was playing and Blink-182, and it was just something like, Millennials' pockets are gonna be hurting these, like, this year. <laughs> You're up there, huh? 
doing the thing. Um, I don't, I don't really need time code, like an actual time code track for this, because I can just use this, and it should be fine. So I want 157. Actually, can I just type it in? There, I can just type that in, and then I can type in. Actually, I wonder if I can just like copy, paste. Booyah! That's way easier. And then use my razor tool to cut at those points. And then we'll color it so I know that it's a select. Uh, I don't want that, I want violet. Violet's my select color. Okay, how are things going at the swoosh today? Are you uh, pretty busy or are you just kind of working in the studio? Mark in. out. So I was going to ask you, do you have any uh, free time this weekend? I've got a track that I want to get finished and mastered and wouldn't mind working with you if you're not busy or if you have some free time. So 326 to 349. I'm really glad that you went and uh, formatted all of this, Eric, because this is actually, oops, can I just go back? No, I can't. Of course I can't. Which means it uncolored my select. That's really stupid. Some things about this program are just asinine. Alright, let's color that. Oh, I forgot I gotta do that crap after I finish up, so I gotta keep track of where the beginning of things are, but I can do that with select poles. Okay. I don't know in the future if this is how I'm gonna do this process or not. I'm still kinda honing in this process and deciding what's gonna work. I don't know if this will work long term. Like there's gotta be, there's gotta be some kind of way to automate this, I would think. Let's mark in, and let's just change this to 24, that'd be quicker. I really wish there was a like cut it selection. I haven't been able to find it yet. So if anybody out there knows that there is one, please feel free to let me know. Ugh. Twenty-nine. Mark in, and then we're gonna go to five. Wow, to five thirty-one, huh? That's a long, solid take. Apparently, there's a lot in there, which is nice. That gives us something that we know we can cut with. My life is just busy work. Take me all the way to six. Can I just like do this? Is Premiere smart enough? Of course it's not. Why would it be? I guess in a way that makes sense. I just don't necessarily love it. Um, so that should get us through. Oh wait, I got one more edit here. I got 608. To 614. Um, and I just gotta cut that. Okay, and then I think we should be on to the next take now, so. And we are, so let's move on to 720. To 
Oh, this is only going to take a little while longer. Like, I'm, I'm honestly getting close. I've got two more that are really long, and the end of the video is a lot shorter than the beginning of the video, so should get through it a lot faster. 7.41 to 8.03. That'll be quicker to copy. I think, though, this will make the sifting process a lot better. At least I'm, that's what I'm hoping for, is that it'll make the, the actual edit process easy. Violet. We're about we're a little over halfway. Mark in. I accidentally hit the out point too, so it got all weird. Mark out. Next up is 8.48 to 9.20. Boy, these had a lot of good stuff. I'm excited to actually start watching some of this. So I haven't actually got to watch through, you know, I've just been clearing all the selects. I haven't actually got to, like, watch through a lot of this yet. And I'm excited for that. Should've got some water. Might have to go do that here in a little bit. 927 to 943. Oops, did I not cut here? Apparently I didn't. A lot of good stuff, so seems like we're gonna have a, a lot of footage to choose from. We must be moving into the next take now. Yep. 1052 to 11.17. Getting close. Getting close. And then the hard part. Syncing it all. That's always the worst part of music videos is keeping everything in sync. Especially with the way we shot this, it's going to be... A bit of a nightmare. Just means I gotta be extra organized. Moving to 12 seconds. Not 13. 12 seconds. And that's gonna take me to 12. Or 12 minutes and 11 seconds, sorry. I really should just make a button to set the label group to that color, but I just, I really need to create new pages for Premiere. Like I, I haven't really gone through and built like a real stream deck setup. I just set up a page of whatever the Premiere pack I got came with. And I really need to give it a little bit more love since I'm in Premiere all the time now. Much to my chagrin, 1240. That's going to go to 1302. Normally this process would be a little bit more like fluid with watching the footage, but since Eric already went through and did all the selects um, and found all the good stuff, this becomes a little bit more rote. Which in some ways is good for me, because I can just listen to music and chill and edit away. 1341 to 1417, and then we're done. And that takes me to 1417. I'm just gonna... 
Okay, so now we just gotta put them all in sync, which that's the tricky part. So what I need to do is... Let's see here, what do I need to do? I need to add in uh, two pop, so let's just grab... Actually, real quick before I do all that, I got all the selects. Let's duplicate the sequence. my option to duplicate this sequence. Duplicate. What did I call it in the other one? The guitar mid shot? I called it edits. Actually, real quick, which one did I use? Did I... is the edits? Yeah, okay, so that's the edits. Call this edits. And we'll close the selects. So at this point now, I can go ahead and bring everything off of the time because I don't need the time anymore. Clear the in and out. Let's get my. Where did I put my? Uh, did I? Oh, it's in the adjustment layers. So let's see here. I need. Probably three tracks, right? Because I think there's three takes here. So. So this is take one. Where does take one end? Take one ends right here. So there's not much in take one. Sadly. So what we want to do is bring all of this over here. And there's my two pops, so let's... It should be like right around... Ugh. I really wish that it would just... Okay. Let's go get this two pop. I think this marker should be right where it's at. So if we listen to it, I need this audio now. So it should be right there. Do I want to go one more frame over? Nope. So it should be there. And I think what I want to do is unlink the audio. Move that up, grab all these and just get them out of my way for a second because I don't want to bring them with me necessarily. And we'll trim that back like that. And now let's move this over into part one. And I don't actually need the audio from the beep, but I will, I do, I have it for one thing, so I'll put it there for one of them. Which did that bring a new audio track in? Let's find out. It did not. Interesting. It just overwrote the one that was there. Very interesting. But those should all be in sync now. Let's see if it looks right. my <laughs> it's not really uh what it's supposed to be take wise but I'll, I'll keep it so it's just all of these ones I can kind of minimize them down now because I don't need to see what those are I don't need the frames of them anymore Is that really the only thing in this first take? Yeah, it really is. 
So we'll rename this um, vocal mid shot take one. Or actually, I'll just name it one. Even though the only thing in here is a guitar. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to name it Pellerin Shot. Because I think that's the only thing that's actually worthwhile in here is this Pel Pellerin Headstock Shot. Cool. Back over here. Take two, what is, okay, never mind. I see where it is. It's over here. Oh, I see. So that should is be one. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's Eric. Oh, I see. Pretty funny. Um, I kind of want to go back a frame. It's so close that I think that's the better frame. Okay, so also I need to come in here and find, is this where take three is? There's take three. Looks like I got four takes of this. So we'll just get rid of all of that. Oh, I don't want to get rid of all of that actually, sorry. Don't do that. Move all that out of my way. I don't need that bit, actually. Well, I kind of want to hang on to it. But I'll just grab all of this. So let's unlink them for the moment. And let's bring this over into uh, V5. Should just be able to line up wherever this marker lands. And that should put it in sync. Let's kill all the, the garbage. And let's shrink the Pellerin shot down and blow this thing up. All right, so this is vocal one. I'm just gonna call it take two, but vocal mid shot two. Boy, we're still gonna end up with like 10 different uh, tracks in here, aren't we? I kind of wish I pre comp this in a way, but I don't really have a good way of knowing if it worked or not. Let's see if it looks in sync. That's a cool shot. Definitely use that. I kind of want to do some of these really long shots. That was weird the way that worked. They must have just been too similar of a... I don't know. What's up, Moosey? How you doing? Okay, so that's good. Let's add some tracks. Don't need any audio tracks. I just need to add like five video tracks. There we go. Because there's going to be a lot. Um, also, I'm going to start muting some of these down. I'm just going to leave the wide shot so I can always dump down to it. Uh, we did add smoke into the room. And actually, real quick, one thing I'm going to do. Let's see here. Do I have the... Um, I don't know if I gave myself the the temporary adjustment layer or not. Must be here, yeah. The template. I'll just go ahead and drop this in for now, because once I drag this over, it should uh, look a little bit better. I might just put everything in one big timeline. We'll see. 
Um, but if I come over to the color tab and we'll throw on, let's see here, it should be in storage. <laughs> oh, it would, uh, the Bulger Fire effect. That would, uh, that would take some serious doing. Um, music projects, replicates. This is like a stone video I should have. That's the raw video stuff. Lots, there we go. Temp grade, add that. Now it should look a little bit better. At least for, oh, I got the, I got the ducker working. It wasn't hard, I just had to open Reaper essentially, but. This isn't what the final color grade will look like, but it's a temporary, so at least we're not looking at uh, flat footage all the time. Because it's a little, a little oversaturated, maybe a little overly bright, but it sure looks better than, uh, than that. <laughs> The shadowing came out really cool though. Oh yeah, this is uh, like a stone cover. It's uh, it's gonna come out pretty good, I think. Really, can I not just like... Ugh. Wait, is that how this works? Can I like move it like that? I'm still like... If I remove that and I say move all targets up, does that work? No. It doesn't do anything. Nope. Totally doesn't move it up. That's fun. Okay, so we're on to V6. Although I really wanted to name that LUT track. All this temp LUT. And then let's just... Crush the size down of everything. This is going to become a really, uh, excuse me, really messy timeline really fast if I'm not careful. Actually, maybe I don't want to be in editing. Maybe I want to be in assembly. I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but I think assembly will help me out because I can crank the size of that up a little bit. I can give myself a little bit more timeline to work with. Let's do something like that. Um, so let's go back to in our sequences. Let's go back to editing. I need the vocal mid shots. And I need the edits, which I don't even remember closing, but apparently I did. Mega Man has such a contrasting vibe, yeah, I know. Which song, the Mega Man one? It does seem to choose those a lot, and I think it just could because I have a lot of Mega Man tracks in the, in the uh, list. Some games end up with more than others, for sure. We're gonna make it after all. It's a good okay on to work. Yeah, good point. It does help with that a lot. Okay, let's... That stuff over because I need to grab all of this. So let's put this into its proper place. Actually, did I move both of those? There's so much about the way this program works that I don't understand. Which click is it? It's this click. Put the time code beep on there. We'll just trim that back. Temporarily gonna unlink those. So I can move it without the audio. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Um, actually, I'm gonna drop this down here like that for my two pop. That did not do what I thought it was going to do. It still did not do what I thought it was going to do. It's putting it into V1 for some reason, and it should be putting it into V6.
Now it worked properly. So I think I should just be able to sync that up like that and the two pop will get me there. You've only used Premiere, but not extensively. Um, yeah, there's a lot different about, and sorry if I'm a little late on that comment, there's a lot different about pretty much any editor. They all tend to think and have very different workflows. And I would say they anticipate you in different ways. And I don't know that Premiere anticipates you in a particularly good way. It's a little, I don't know, it's a little clunky in my opinion. Let's make sure that this is synced up. Might need to do some, uh... Yeah, I am... I don't know, I'm kind of hoping to get out of it eventually. Just because I don't necessarily love Premiere. Let's turn this down a little bit. We might stabilize these a little bit. It looks a little choppy, but... Definitely gonna have some uh, some shot matching to do because like this looks way more contrasty than this does. So, do I have a favorite? Mm. Premiere's probably the one I know the best at this point, so it's my favorite in that regard. Um, I really am contemplating moving over to DaVinci Resolve for everything, uh, but I haven't committed to fully make that switch yet, which I really should. It would be a good idea for me to just commit to that and just fully jump into into Resolve, but in theory, I would probably like to go to Resolve, but I just don't know. It's really, really hard to say. That's the one you do if you were gonna work heavily. Yeah, and I'm, what I need to do is just like jump into Resolve for a couple days, just like do a couple streams with it and force myself to figure it out. That's ultimately what I really need to do. I just haven't, because I've been lazy. But that is what I should do, for sure. There's my clicks. Box. Yeah, there it goes. I was real close on the two pop. If I have a project with a tight deadline, yeah, like, Right now, I don't have any projects that have any, like, crazy deadlines. So, like, honestly, this project would have been an ideal time, probably, to jump in and work on Resolve stuff a little bit. I just haven't, to be honest. That's that's all it comes down to, is I just haven't done it. I've kind of gotten a workflow down here, and I'm being lazy. I think I can just drop it in like that, and that should... Yeah, that works perfect. Well, this is definitely how the video is starting right here. We got our opening shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that some a different color, actually, because I am almost a hundred I'm almost a hundred percent certain that this is gonna be the opening shot. With non video design work, yeah, it's hard, like I, I hate to say it this way, but um, did I look at the comments in the timecode sheet? No, I did not. Vocal mid shot. Neat jest to Eric Pan. Lots of good stuff. Uh, potential first shot of video. Hey, there's the comment. I did look at these the other day. I just didn't look at them right now. I should have been... The ones that you commented, I should have like... I should have colored them differently in the selects, maybe. Which I can continue to do, because most of what I've done so far didn't really have any comments. Um, use this. You're saying the last shot of this, I think, is what's going to get used, which is this one. It was a really long shot. I think it's this shot. Yeah, 
Yeah, that is a really cool shot. I'm gonna color it green. The ones that I know that we're gonna use, I'll color forest. And I'll remember to do that in the process from here on out. I could probably go back and find where all of these are in the time code. Oh, the guitar mid shot. 622. Let's see if I can go find that real fast. Oh, you know what? I should, um... Rename this. Rename. Vocal mid shot. Four. So that should be in the guitar mid shot, and it's like the second to last clip, which is this one. Is there something on above this? I don't think so. Oh yeah, there's the stink bug. I see it. <laughs> I'll go ahead and color this one. Do, do, do. If we want to use it. Okay, and then the other comments that I'm missing are mostly on the vocal mid shots and they're early. So I think the first one is... The Pellerin shot, actually, which I don't know that I really need to color this one because I'll, I'll go ahead and color it just so I remember. I mean, that's that's a shot we're going to use 100% for sure. That's a that's an absolutely going to be using that one. Then this one you have this shot right here. Your comment is very good. That should be this one right here. Next comment is better just Eric Pan, 429 to 531. Let's go. Um, go back here for. So it's the four, 429 to 531. So that's this shot right here. So it's a really long one that's in take two. So it's this this one right here, I think. Do you think all the time code you picked is usable? Cool. Looks like we have a lot to work with, actually, so. Cool. This is a good shot. Yeah, there was maybe a non-usable spot right in there. I think she forgot the lyrics there for just a second. The camera kind of re... Overall, though, it's really good. We could definitely cut. It is missing a lot of haze, too. We really, we really got to get... Uh, a new hazer that we can put on the timer so that we can kind of keep it a little bit more consistent. Which sucks, because, like, Kamsis just came out with an update that fixed my MIDI problem with the hazer, so, like, I could reliably use the hazer I have with MIDI now. But we kind of need a separate hazer that the timer works on for this kind of stuff. Okay, I still have one more vocal, right? Those are the selects. I need to go back to the edits. Nope, that's it for the vocal mid shot. So I can go ahead and close that sequence and let's go into the tights now. So let's do the guitar tights. Man, I really wish Premiere could reorganize tracks. It's just so stupid that it can't. So I want part one guitar tight. So let's go through and make our selects here. Okay, guitar tight. There is no comments on any of these, so it's just getting time code in and just getting the stuff over. A little bit more straightforward.
And how many takes do we have here? We got three takes. Okay. Boy, this is gonna be a lot of a lot of content. Which I'll probably try and go through and sift through some of it before we start editing and see if there's some of it that I can kind of nail down before we get into the edit. But I'm hoping by the end of this stream today, we'll be ready to edit. So if you want to come over tomorrow, Eric, we could start the edit. Oops. I forgot to... Mark in. Two fifty four. I think though that like all of this prep work is going to make the edit go really fast. If I were to wager a guess, we're gonna kind of blaze through the edit because we've already done so much of the legwork, like so much of the tough stuff's already gonna be done. Okay, we're moving on into the second take now. Don't forget to drop an endpoint. I totally did. Oh boy, lots of good stuff. Also, um, if there's any shots that are like missing a ton of haze, we might be able to fake some of that with resolve. We might be able to bring, we might be able to use resolve to match that a little bit. I don't know that we want to go overboard with it, but I'm pretty sure we could do it. There's a lot of good stuff in this take. At least according to the notes. Five eighteen to five thirty six. And then 557, 612. I should be on, like for sure able to have this all rigged and ready to edit tomorrow if you have time. I think, I think I should have time. Or I think I should be able to get it done by then. 750. 802. And then 840 to 853. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Yeah, it's just, we've got to do something about that because like with the way we were running the haze, we have no consistency of haze. I think we just need to, I think we just need to throw it down and get a new one for these shoots. It sucks to have to spend money on something we already have, but See here, this is 913 to 921 is what you have. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? Label violet. And then last shot is 926 to 933. Okay, so let's label that. Wow, 
pilot and then let's duplicate this sequence. curious about something here real quick with this desktop capture is it doing the right um yeah it's doing the right color okay it just seems a little washed out compared to what i feel like it should look like but that's probably very minimal okay so now we have our edits so i can go back to that later if i need to and then let's separate out the takes so there's take three, move it down, looks like right here is take two, so glad we shot all those plates. Okay, and then let's get my, I don't want time code, I want my, where did I put you? Not in time code, it should be up in here somewhere. Adjustment layers, there we go. Need my sync beep. Actually, let's just do this all right here like this. Looks like we started a bit late on this one. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna move all of the audio down a track. Really, I gotta... So it's that one right there. Clear out all the garbage. It's almost like halfway cutting itself here in some ways. It at least gives me a feel for like, ooh. The sink doesn't seem right there, does it? Like that, that seems totally wrong. Let's go double check this. I see why. We had to restart it. I'm confused here. Let's see if I can figure out what happened here. I think he just messed up. Oh, 
Ooh, this is tricky. Um, what happened here? I'm gonna try something here real fast. I'm gonna duplicate this and find a new point to uh, put this in the song. Put it there. So I can use this line to sync back up. And we'll see where we land here and what happened. So I'll use that as a sync beep. Okay, so... So it should be right here. Okay. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to realign this with everything else. And now, oops. Now it should be good, unless I have to make changes, but we go check the other shots, they should look good. Nope, not even close. Something's really wrong here. on time. mess up here or something or what what happened because you're clearly not playing anything maybe there was like a problem with the camera or something because you stopped Now we don't seem to be back on. Back to the chorus. Did we like cut and come back or something? Let me let me see what happened here. It was just too shallow. I must have cut at some point. Yeah. So do we? Why would I stop playing? Have you blowing on? Okay. Levi, have you messed with Frank? <laughs> Why would I stop playing? Have you messed with up in the ISO much? Right. Like noise profile wise? Because I think I want to stop so, down to like four or five. If we're going to use these shots, we're going to have to go manually put them in place. Are they supposed to be chorus two? So this is going to kind of suck. I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to go do this manually. I don't know why we didn't cut. That's that's weird that we chose to not cut. We restarted that one? I don't think so. Let me find out. Because you were just going. Haven't come back yet. Levi, 
Have you messed with Crank? Yeah, the track came back no, on. Have you messed with Up in the Eye so much? Yeah, we didn't restart. But that should be chorus two, right? So I've just got to figure out where these pieces go. This is where I could, you, I might need your help to replace these clips to find out where they go. Obviously not there. Okay, so that should have been like there. Because you do that, so that's. So I think I'm getting closer. I think it should be like there. I think that's the right spot and how it's just not perfectly timed yet. bit early that's really close I think let's just go like minus one frame maybe like plus two frames We might have to like really get in there and pixel like like match that a little bit more closely, but I think it's close. This is back on because there you go to the D minor and D7. Never mind, it's like uh, repetition behind. Oh, I'm so close. Or is that even the right spot at all? This almost feels like it's like the first chorus. Because this one you don't do the the hang on there. So I think this actually, I think both of them actually need to go back a whole chorus. But this, this other one, I guess it really doesn't really matter where it is. It could be in either chorus. But this one's clearly the end of uh, Chorus 1. Which actually, that's kind of funny. We could actually, this clip right here, this Take 1 clip, we could probably copy that into both choruses and use it in either place we felt like. Since it's tight enough on the guitar, you can't tell if there's any difference with her. We can kind of use that shot in either place. Wow, that was a good fucking guess. Really good guess. We might have to, like, frame it one way or another, but I think it's pretty damn close. I'm almost tempted to just copy this back across now and just have it in both places, but we can do that later if we decide we want to. It's not a big deal. And I have a good idea on what the best way to copy that's gonna be also, I think. We can use the two pop to get a real clean copy. Okay. Hopefully, this next one's not so fucked up. So close. Is that a... Oh, cool, you get the little circle burn. That's cool. Uh, 
This might be usable material. We're getting dangerously close to part one being finished, and then I just gotta go do this with all the other parts, which should go considerably faster. There's a hell of a lot less edit points, and all the parts are shorter, so I think it should be a lot easier to get through the, the ending. I might need to recolor all of these by track. One tier letting people vote on next songs from a list, and another tier letting people suggest songs to add to the list. It is a good idea. I really need a more powerful graphics card for this computer. Actually, real quick, I'm curious. Am I even using the graphics card properly? I actually don't know where it is, like where the hardware setting is to use the GPU. I would think it's in here somewhere. Now, I'll look that up later. There's gotta be somewhere that you can tell it to use the, the encoder proper, properly. Project manager, maybe? No. Lots of sequences. Okay, moving on. Actually, I want to look at some of this. That's a cool shot. Alright, back to this. We got one more section to copy across. So it's probably that click right there. that because it's going to go away anyways. Oops. I guess that also doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going into V9. Let's paste that in. Actually, before I cut anything, let's just double check that it all looks good. Oh, oops. I didn't move it into position yet, so it's not going to look good. Too bad this shot didn't isn't usable. I like that angle a lot. That's a cool shot. We don't get that over the shoulder guitar look as often as we probably could. of the neck. Very cool. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna go run to the restroom, so I'll be back in just, just a moment. All right dig back into this. Where am I at? I needed to label this. This is guitar tight. Two. Why do I not have a take one? Let's take three. Did I forget to do take one? That'd be weird if I took forgot. Well, I guess it wouldn't be that weird. I forget stuff all the time. Let's go take a look. Um, is there not a... That's take three. Did I not get take one in there? Oh no, did it... Did it load it up into the wrong track? Son of a bitch. Well, I better... Um... Let's 
step that back because somewhere there it cut out that. I see where it did it. I see what happened. Not quite sure why it happened, but I see it. Okay. But we can fix that real fast. And let's move that up to V10. I'm going to need more, uh, more video tracks before this is done. It's going to be a big edit. Tartite. One. Two. So I better go add in a couple new video tracks. Oh, I, I gotta bring Guitar Type 3 back in real fast. Because I got screwed up. Does this not... Oh, I stepped back too far, didn't I? I lost my sync beep. Nope, control. <laughs> so, uh, another, like, gripe for Premiere, and you were asking, like, what things are, like, not good, Moosey? C copy is alt instead of control. Why the hell, like, no program in the world is freaking alt. I mean, maybe there is more that use it now that I'm not aware of, but, like, why in the world would it not be control? That's just absurd. Absolutely absurd, in my opinion. I could change one thing. It would be adding some consistency to computer programs. Like it just seems like a simple enough thing, but you'd be surprised just how often they are not at all. Like, why in the world they choose to do something like that that just completely goes against, you know, every other computer program out there. Because Adobe. It's the same with their color wheels. I don't know why they had to choose to put their color wheel at a different rotation than everybody else's, than, like, the standard color rotation. It's just kind of a frustrating, annoying choice on their part, in my opinion. But I'm 100% sure they don't give a shit of what I think. Also that. I've noticed a lot of programs do that, where, like, if you add a track or do something, it throws you down to the bottom. Why would I want that? I, I'm clearly wanting to work up here, so why in the world did it throw me down to the bottom? Ugh. But, Premiere. Okay, part one is getting close to done. We just got vocal tights, and I think that's it for part one. So can close that sequence. So we've got part one vocal tights. Let's go make the selects. Doo, doo, doo. Oh boy, there's a lot. So this is my last one that has like a whole lot of shit. Ah, coffee got a little cold. Okay. So vocal tights, the first, there's no comments on any of these. Okay, so they're all just usable shots, nothing that's like definitely this. So, 43 seconds in, going to a minute and three seconds. Minute 15, mark in, and go to minute 25, mark out. Let's zoom in a little bit. One thirty-five to two minutes, that's a nice long cut. Ugh, the takeaway from this is making a music video takes way too much time. Why are we, why are we doing this? There's gotta be a, 
a way to streamline this process a little bit. I must be, like, I've got to be doing this in a way that's just not very good. I've got to think that there's a faster way to do this. 22. I'm not sure what it would be, otherwise I'd be doing it, but... Also, with just the way this stuff is, I'm doing stuff in multiple sequences because I'm scared of stuff getting out of alignment and needing to go back and fix things. Which is probably why it's taking a little longer than it necessarily needs to, but... So it was 315 to 3... No, no, that was to 311, so now I need 315 to 340. to 457. So we're jumping into the next take. I could just like cut it marquee. Is there a way to do that? Can I just like stay on my cut tool and instead of well, no, because I still have to like switch over to this tool to be able to do this. So that's kind of annoying. Now I want to play Mario Kart. Probably should have used proxies. Oh, I guess I still could. Oops. I really wish it wouldn't do that. It keeps like moving me over by frames and I don't want it to do that. Like I think that the way they have it built here is that I can jog it, but I'd really rather disable that, I think. Kind of gets in my way for the way I'm trying to work right now. Um, real quick, I forgot to label that. A lot of good stuff in this take, which is cool. 652. And now we're moving on to the final take. 809. 32 and then 835 if you have some ideas on how we could automate this process at least all of this stuff Eric I'm I'm all ears because if we didn't have to do this, if we could, like, find some way to make this auto happen, it'd be pretty freaking cool. 
Like if we could just feed it time code values and tell it to chop it up and label it. I have no idea how we would get that to work other than like doing auto hotkey or something, which I don't really love auto hotkey. It seems to cause as many problems as it solves sometimes. FFmpeg is your first thought? How would you use FFmpeg to do this? I'm, I'm, I'm all game, I just don't actually know that very well, so I don't really know how it would work. 943 to 1020, wow, this is a good take. You can cut video programmatically with FFmpeg, yeah, but the question is, is what kind of, like, uh, generational loss are we going to have by doing that? That's my big concern. Fifty-eight to 11.19. A synchronized camera record and audio playback would help. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of tricky since we're doing this, like, weird frame rate thing. And I think if we were going to do that properly, we would also have to, like, run time code into the camera at the point of record so that we're giving it time code to work with. I could be wrong about that, but I know that that's, like, the more professional move is to have, like, time code run into camera. Especially if you're using two cameras at the same time, you really need to be, like, flowing time code between them so they have the same time code. Which is a whole other realm of gear that we don't have, unfortunately. As is always the case, it seems. So this should all be take three. That should all be take two. The, uh, the clapboard really helps in this particular instance of giving me like a good visual indicator of where the heads of my things are. It's pretty freaking cool. Drop that in. Just like drop it down. Of course not. You have to actually add a track. You just get used to things in Reaper, like just dragging a file down and having that automatically build a new track. Like it'd be really cool if other programs could get it to be as smart as Reaper is. I know I suck Reaper's dick a little too much, but at the same time, I really feel like it does a better job than so many of these other NLEs. Okay, so this is vocal type one. Why are you trying to move it up? Just wanna make sure they're all in sync. I might need to switch over to proxies, which I really probably should have done. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Kind of surprised you didn't put a comment on that one. I think we'll use this shot. Although 
I might even suggest we crop it in a little bit to get it even tighter. Like, it'd be kind of cool if this shot was... Um, do I not have... I guess I need to go over to a different... I need to go over to my editing page. Like, I could see us even, like, scaling into that shot. 20%, 15%, something like that. Unless we have some other ultra tights. That's a cool shot. Same thing here, I could just see this being a little bit tighter. Luckily that's the beauty of 4K. That's a really cool shot. I'm definitely gonna want to use parts of this shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark it. I need a better way to do that because I want to color these by track, so I know what track they came from eventually. But there's got to be a way to like add a. I mean, I guess I could just add a marker onto it. That would work, but it's not really the way I want to do it. But it would work. Yeah, I'll just put markers on them because I, I do want to start organizing. So let's do this. Let's. Um, I don't really care where it is on this thing. Why? Why in the world did you? The way this thing does markers is beyond me sometimes. Um. Great tank. So if I just drop markers on them, I guess that's the way to do it. Oh, why in the world did my scroll wheel take me over to a... No, oh, okay, so if you're up here, it moves you between sequences. That's interesting. I honestly did not know that it did that. Oops, I wanted to change the color. Oops. Okay, I think that's all of them, right? Okay. So let's start giving these different colors now. Label. We'll just go down the list. I don't really care. What color's what. All I really care about is that they all have their own kind of unique color. Seriously? But now I'll know, I'll just put markers on them as I go instead of doing the different colors. Well, I'm gonna run out of colors. Okay, two more to go and then we're done. We're so close to being done with part one. But luckily, part two 
only has a couple different bits. Part three is just three separate takes and then part four. Yeah, we don't have a, a ton, which kind of bums me out. I feel like we were just getting tired and worn out. We, sh we probably should have taken more footage for the final parts, but part three is one take. Yeah, I know. But I guess the end of the song, since it comes down, it doesn't move around quite so much, but I do still feel like we probably could have let ourselves get a little bit more footage for the back half, or for part four at least. Is that the right beep? Nope, it's not. The last take of part three is the one. Okay, it looks like you've got that noted on here. Okay. Let's fly this over and get rid of the garbage. Am I on audio? No, I'm not on audio time. I'm curious, if I put this here and paste, will it put it in place without me doing anything? Looks like that's the case. Okay, we don't have any notes on this take, so I'm just gonna clean out the garbage. It looks like a lot of the, hold on a second. I somehow grabbed the same one. Fucked it up. I fucked it up. That's makes more sense. Oh, that's a great shot. the back like cuts across her face like that I really like that a lot that might be some of my favorite lighting of the whole shoot right there I was like cutting across her cheek I like that a lot I think lighting wise, we did a really good job. Boy, there's gonna be a lot of, a lot of stuff to sift through. All right, let's get the last take in here. And then we're done with this part. Why is alt copy Adobe, why? you hate me it's kind of weird because i didn't uh I, we still got b-roll we honestly didn't get very much b-roll though there's probably three or four shots in total there's really not that much like there just wasn't, like, we, we'd done enough shooting at that point that there just wasn't enough, there, there wasn't that much interesting B-roll to get. In my opinion, it was, I don't know, and maybe that's also partially because we were at the end of the day and we'd been shooting for, well, Levi and I had been shooting for fucking 14 hours at that point because we'd had a shoot before. Which it would have been nice if we hadn't had a shoot before, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. And okay, that should now be everything. Let's watch this and see how it looks, and then we just need a comp take up top. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this shot. I'm only gonna use this if I feel like I have to. I kinda hate, hate this like straight ahead look. We'll see though.
Maybe it fits in the context. That's better. That's definitely better. That's better still. That's way better. Part two picks up, and I'm gonna do that in a separate timeline. So, real quick, I'm gonna go to my master timeline. track and I bring in timeline one really now I can at least see where it goes this is my I guess I could just leave the track there now that I think about it. I'll just do that. I'll just bring it in from part one. <coughs> Actually, no, I won't. Oh, that works, doesn't it? Just smack it up against the end and it's not perfectly lined up, but it's close. Can I zoom in farther if I do audio time? Okay, those are pretty dead on. So we'll rename this Master Audio. And now I can unlink that. Get rid of that from here, because I don't need it. We're gonna make this... Um, Actually, I do want the the beep, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just trim this back like that, because then what I can do is just use the sync beep on all of them to put them in place. And I think we'll make that... I wish it would show me the waveform. It's weird that it doesn't. Off audio time. So right there, if I go to... Why is that? I don't know why I put that sequence in there. I don't know that that's really what I meant for it to do, but I'm gonna try something. What happens if I delete this? Does that go away? It does. Okay, so interesting. To put it in here, it like creates another sequence that didn't actually nest it the way I wanted it to. Is that what that's telling me? Oh, it moved it. I didn't mean to move it. I just wanted it nested. Okay, problem solved. So let's see here. Um, I've got my sync beep. We'll rename this Sync. And then we'll just trim this out to wherever video ends, which is like here. And we can put the other parts together and Continue on in the same fashion. We'll just sync beep them from the top of the track. 
Is that gonna be the way to do this? I don't really know. I think I need to export a click track and put a click track down here eventually. I'm not gonna worry about it yet, but let's finish what I was planning on doing. I needed to find two. Which happens right here. And if I go to sequence settings. Or is it timeline settings? Somewhere here, there's a... I don't remember how to change the... the ruler for a single sequence. Might have to look that up. Because I would really like for this to happen at a specific time. Maybe it's here that you do it? Nope. Let me look it up real fast. Premiere. Change sequence. Time code. Somewhere here, there's a settings. Sequence settings. This doesn't look like it's in here. I love that, like, everywhere I go, no matter what you do when you look at something, it's never in the same place as t tutorials tell you that it is. that there's something like oh okay the hamburger menu what the heck i just lost my mouse where'd you go i still see it but i somehow lost control of the computer that's strange hmm. yeah i got nothing everything locked up that's strange. Um, can I still do other things? Like, are the other computers still listening? They are, although that's a really weird thing since I have that loaded up in both dynamic inputs. It should have looked more like that, which I guess is what I should have done while I was searching Google. But um, why did I lose my mouse and keyboard? What's going on? Very strange. Yeah, I got nothing. I don't think it's a batteries thing, but I guess it could be. But the batteries don't seem to be dead. Let me try and see what's going on with this mouse. Don't make me have to restart this stupid thing. That would be a huge bummer. Yeah, still nothing. I've got nothing. Huh. What do I need to do here? Um, I have an idea to try. Stupid idea. Nothing. Hmm. Why? What I don't know is if the computer itself is locked up or if it's just a mouse thing that's locked up. Let's find out.
I've got no mouse over there either. And I don't know if that's because this computer is locking the mouse out, or if it's because... Yeah, see, now I don't know. Now I think I'm gonna have to crash the computer. That's a huge bummer. Question is, do I have a good way to stop this? I don't think it's the batteries, but it, it's possible. It's still got lights, but I'll go try and throw some new batteries in it, so I'll be back in just a sec. And I don't seem to have a way to panic it, so I guess that, uh... That's gonna have to be it for the stream for right now, because I'm gonna have to reboot the computers and get this figured out. That's too bad. I hope that Premiere... Say is what I did, because I don't know where it's at. Any rate, I guess I'll go ahead and end the stream. Um, kind of a bummer. Wait, do I even have an end stream button in this particular deck? Maybe I don't. It, the other ones should still work, though. If I come up here to... Um, How do I not have an end stream button on this yet? I guess I've got to do that, but the one in my game thing should still work. So I'm going to try this. Um, take it easy. Thanks for coming. I'll continue to work on this, Eric. If you want to come over tomorrow. Connecting the chat. Did I lose internet? Huh. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. We'll figure it out.